Welcome to Speed Bump Garage. My name is Kent, and on today's video, we're gonna be talking about power tool storage. It's gonna actually be a repost of a older Growjack Outdoors video that we made earlier this year. And we actually made this video in preparation for the start of Speed Bump Garage. Trying to get the shop in order, get everything in its place so we can easily make shop videos. So we made the decision to move this video over here to Speed Bump Garage since all of our pro shop projects are now held right here. So let's get into the video on how you can help organize and have a spot for all your cordless power tools. So here's the plan, and, and I've already kind of started to make sure it was gonna work, but I bought this five shelf, hyper tough shelf at Walmart, which I actually found it on Amazon also for the same price. So I'll put the Amazon link in the description of this video, but we've got that shelf and some three inch PVC and a whole bunch of cordless tools. I've already kind of started. I've got the shelf put together. This shelf is a 16 by 36 by 72. The PVCs are cut to 15 inches. And what I did was I drilled a hole there with a hole saw and then slaughtered them. So I've hooked that to the shelf. And now you can put your cordless tool in there just like that. You can put a few on each one. So I, I think the top shelf here will have four runs on it. And then I may do one more, but something else is it won't hold just drills. I've got this skill saw. Let's see if I can do this one handed. It'll hold that skill saw too. And little multi tool. And I don't know if you have one of these, but if you don't, you should get one. It'll hold that too. I think that's going to be the perfect solution to our power tool mess that we usually have in our shop. So I'm going to set you guys up and we're going to work on making the rest of these runners and we'll get them put on the shelf. One of the things I forgot to mention was the hole saw I'm using is a, it's a two inch hole saw and I just drilled it in the top of that and then cut down it with a jigsaw. You don't necessarily have to have a hole saw. You could do the whole thing with a jigsaw, but the hole saw is a pretty fast way to get it done. But we've got one more of these to make, so let's get it done. Now that I got my 15 inch piece of three inch PVC, I'm gonna measure inch and five eighths. Put me a little mark there and that's where I'm gonna drill my two inch hole. That gives us a nice 5 8 stop there to where where the tools won't push all the way through it. So now we need to get some marks on there and we'll take a jigsaw and we'll cut this all the way through. I built four additional holders. They're all slotted, ready to go. And now we need to drill holes in them and I'm going to attach mine with zip ties. I'm gonna drill holes in the front and back, about a 5 16 drill bit. And 
That will allow the zip ties to go through the hole and then we'll fasten them up to the top shelf. Let's get those drilled then we'll mount them on the shelf. Okay, I got everything drilled and slotted and now we're gonna get them all attached to the shelf. So I, I, you can see I've already attached this one with the zip ties, but I'm gonna put one on every runner of this top shelf. So there's gonna be four there, and then I think I'll put one right here too, because I, I made five. But the zip ties work really well. You can see they don't interfere with the shelf that they're on because they stick down below this wire here. Anyways, it seems to work really well. I'm gonna get them all attached on there and we'll see how all the tools fit. Here it is, all finished up. Everything fit really good. All the tools are on there. Plenty of room for everything. Added the chargers. And look who finally showed up. <laughs> yep. So he did a real good job on this. All the tools fit. And one of my subscribers sent me in the mail this cordless chainsaw. I really like it. I've been using it to set um, bobcat traps and cutting tree limbs down. It's really awesome. And it's just right in here. Kind of a rundown of what I did off camera. The sawzall wouldn't work in those because it's, it's just too long. So I added a short one on the side with the same notch in it and you got to pull the battery but fits right in there just right so that's a great place to hang the sawzall it'll be handy right there and you can leave the blade on it uh, another issue this hammer drill was a little bit too big for the three inch pvc it won't quite go in there like that but if you same thing if you pull the battery on it you can put it in there upside down but if a guy would step up to a four inch pvc I think all of this would work just as good and you could put the bigger hammer drills in it but I had three inch so that's what we went with added the battery chargers zip tied a little power supply under here that way we can one cord for it everything will be charging and that'll be it that's plenty of extra storage for batteries other tools I think that rack's gonna help us a lot at keeping the shop organized. I'm pretty excited about it. Look! We put lights on! What? Mom's mama hammer! Ooh. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, we can show What else you got there? I guess I'll show you guys. I got. Kick hats? Yeah, one for you. Oh, thanks. One for Bubba. One for me. Thank you. Good job. Where'd you get those? In the office. And I have new toys inside for me and you. I got bouncy ball, new toothpaste, new toothbrush, and the play switch. Two play switch. High five. Yeah. Well, that's going to be it for today. I hope this video maybe can help some of you guys get your shop in order. We've been using this rack for about eight or nine months now, and it's been awesome. All of our batteries are always right here. All of the tools are always right here. It really helps us keep the shop in order and keeps from having this stuff scattered everywhere. If you like this sort of video, please hit that subscribe button. We've got more automotive content coming back next week, so stay tuned for that. And leave us a comment down below everything else. You guys know the deal. We'll catch you on the next one.